here we are at CES 2013, but guess what? That's Ubuntu here from Canonical Limited, and they are showing off Ubuntu for phones for the first time at the trade show. And we got all of them, and we're going to be showing you uh, Ubuntu for phones, right? On a Galaxy Nexus, which has been flashed with the Ubuntu OS. And here we have a gentleman from Canonical who's going to be demonstrating it for us. Hi, how are you? Hello. Good, how are you? I'm good. So, key feature of the phone, this is the welcome screen of the phone. Uh, what you'll see here is there's a, a very strong graphical message, message indicator showing us, uh, in this example, how many tweets I've had. So you can see here that the orangeness here fills up um, with the volume of these. Um, the phone's been designed very specifically for the smart industry, uh, for the smart utilization. So um, people using a significant number of apps now, uh, and also people are now getting access to messages in very, very many different uh, media formats. Um, so we're very focused on getting um, simple access to all of these features and requirements. Um, we use side swiping quite extensively, so just swiping from the side here takes me to the home screen. And here you'll see my favorite applications, you'll see that someone's called me, I've had a missed call in this case, I can touch this and go back to them. Um, I can also get access to applications through here, or um, I can go here and look at my apps page here. So you'll see in this case I've got three apps running. Um, I've got a favorite area here that I can customize. These are the apps that are actually on the machine, on the phone itself, and these are some apps that we'd recommend that, uh, for download, so maybe top 10 apps or something like that. Um, across here you can see uh, an application. I've got a photo application running, so I've just swiped across to get there. I can move and navigate very quickly back to the home screen by edge swiping here, accessing applications, or going back to the home page here, so it gets me back to the central point. So at no point do I have to click buttons or um, get out of anything. Um, so you see the apps here, I'll go back to this app here. It's a multitasking environment. Uh, and again, for moving from one app to the other, it's as simple as swiping across from one app to the other in this way. So you can see the three apps there rotating through. And in this case, I can carousel through as many apps as I have. I'll go back here again. So you can see I can launch the app, go back to the home page here. Here we've got people, this is a contacts page, but it's a contacts page on steroids. Basically, um, as well as having information about people, their connection, their numbers, their email, um, I also have live information. So in this case, this person has uh, contacted me for, for, for Facebook. If I click on this, it will go back to a Facebook application, I'll be able to communicate them through Facebook. I'll go back to the home here, and you'll see here the number of status indicators, um, battery, uh, Wi-Fi, messages, Normally I'd have to go on another operating system, I'd have to go through a settings application something like this. With this we use the edge, I can drag down, scan across, and you can see that I can get access to these immediately and modify them. So if I go to the message side, pull that down, click on this for example. This was an SMS, so it gets me to an SMS reply. Uh, this is a telephone, so it'll allow me to so just it's quickly very go back. optimized for one-handed use? It's optimized for communication, a multimedia type communication. So in the early days when smartphones came out, it was mainly text messaging, email, and telephone calls. Now we see a proliferation of Skype, of Facebook, of tweets, and so on and so forth. So all of that's built in fundamentally from the early design stage of the, of the, uh, the phone OS itself. So that's a quick uh, overview of this. Great. So when can we expect devices to come out in the market running on this? So um, we announced it on the 2nd of January as, a, as an operating system. Uh, we're working with both hardware um, OEMs on uh, looking at how we can get this onto their platforms and obviously power. So look soon. Uh, we'll have some announcements uh, in the near future. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Looking forward to the devices. Good. <laughs>